George Woodard, so what what is the most kind of surprising cha or challenging thing about making a film for you? What and I did think it um, I think for for us it was the soundtrack music mm -hmm. because I really wanted that big soundtrack music, and it took uh, about a year and a half to kind of figure out how we were going to do that. And then when we did find the library that had the big soundtrack music, the library music, the library music, music library, yeah, music library, yeah. That kind of answered a lot of our questions, but we still had the cowboy, the big cowboy music issue that we had to figure out. So I think that was uh, that was probably the hardest thing that we did. So when you're looking for music, how do you know what you're looking for? Are there are there words that you use? What kind of words would you go? Okay, I need something that's majestic keeps coming to mind because there's wonderfully majestic music mm. that comes. Do you how, how how did you try to find or describe to say Pete Sutherland what you needed? It had to kind of fit the action of what was happening. And I was able to just, uh, after I got the music, I was able to tweak things one way or the other so that the, so that the beats of the, of the music would match the beats of what you were seeing a little bit. But, um, but I, we sat, I sat with Pete and I actually told him, showed him kind of what I wanted. It was a musician, a fellow musician who he's exactly. probably worked Pete with Sullivan, quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he, uh, he listened to me, and I told him, I, I need that Elmer Bernstein cowboy rhythm. That he, did, he did the same rhythm in all the, all the Westerns. It he goes went, like... Dun, 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 you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so I think that was, that was the hardest thing, probably. But it was also, uh, when we finally got it, it was... It was uh, it, you, you could tell. You think, oh, that's it. It's a very strong part of the... Of, it's, it's, an, it's an element in and of itself, in a way. I think I think it I think it is for this one, yeah. And what about recreating 1952? You have black and white. I mean, did you have trouble with antennas or other other things? Were there other issues about making sure it was authentic to the early 50s? Mm, not as much, and I think partly because we did put it in black and white. Mm. Because there's some things that uh, that because it was in black and white, you don't notice it as much. Like the, like the color issue mm -hmm. of the uh, of certain buildings that may be uh, a modern color, but the architecture is mm -hmm. the same no matter what color it is. So I think that that helped. Um, there's a few there's a few things that are that you see once in a while, like uh, like those those gray boxes on the telephone poles and that kind of stuff. It's hard mm -hmm. to get rid of those, especially when the shot is moving. But you find places that don't have those. And uh, to do something that's 1950 is still relatively easy in Vermont. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To do something that's like 1918 or something, that might be a little harder. But Thanks a lot. Thank you.